God uses people according to their level of knowledge. In Acts chapter 18 and verse 25, a man called Apollos, God used him on his strength. He was eloquent. But the Bible says he had a deficit of knowledge. He only knew the baptism of John. That's a deficit of knowledge. God is not waiting for you to know everything. For him to use you. He's waiting for you to use what he has given you already. To advance his kingdom. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot know all that I know. But what you know is still useful to the master. How do you know what you know? What you know is what you know. To me, it's not what you know. Apollos did not know the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But that did not stop God from using him. God was still using him. Actually, as a matter of fact, he made more disciples who had limit, limitation of knowledge like he did. He knew the way of the Lord, but he did not know the baptism of the Spirit. Did that one prevent God from using him? No. God was using him. And he was taking him from one city to another. With that deficit of knowledge. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Most men of God differ on the premise of knowledge. Everyone wants to be superior. You want to have people under you. Peter and Paul differed. Not because they were not called by the same God. They were called by the same God. Having similar disciples with the same agenda, but not agreeing in terms of revelation. It took Peter many years to establish that Paul was a man of God. But all the days he believed he was the killer they knew. But when you read Peter's confession in his own book, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 15, he is telling the people that our brother Paul has a higher revelation and a great wisdom. So if you don't understand his, his writings, you can bring judgment to yourself. It's a confession. After he too has matured over a period of time. Because he believed that the Gentiles were not supposed to be saved. For them to, to be saved, they required to go through the ritual of physical circumcision. But Paul, owing to the higher revelation, he believed that people can be saved without necessarily going through physical circumcision. Paul knew about circumcision and Peter knew about circumcision. But Peter knew about circumcision of the foreskin whereas Paul knew about the circumcision of the heart. Both of them knew about circumcision but one had a higher level of circumcision another one as a Jewish ritualistic circumcision. And the one who believed that people must be cut in their foreskin said this other man is fake. It took him several years to make this kind of confession that he makes in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of these people will think that they are charitic and they are heretic and that they are moving to hell. They are actually people that are operating under higher grace and higher revelation. 